Iron Train seems to be safe now, maybe? So, what do you... what would you say is the one thing that humans are good at doing? Uh, running and pattern recognition. Okay. The, these seem to be the things that we have been uh, evolutionary selected for. Uh, even though that I'm currently sat in a vehicle doing my running for me, uh, there are not many creatures in the universe that we have found so far with the specialized set of adap adaptations for uh, shedding body heat, for keeping muscles running longer than they really want to, stuff like that. Um, and also spotting faces everywhere. It's what we do. <laughs> Put down two blobs in a line and you've got a face and we don't know why. Captain, can we... Are we doing purple science by any chance? Uh, there is a purple science machine, but it's literally a purple science machine. I think we're becoming more and more lazy, I don't know about you, Captain. <laughs> lazy? Efficient. I am becoming more and more efficient as time goes. Oh, these don't work here. Okay. These don't work. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely getting better at what we do. Surely. Surely. This is... Surely. I mean, it, it seems to be the, the ultimate achievement of humanity. Productivity of number three. That, oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, this actually means we're getting... If I, if I just show high command here, uh, rocket silo, got all of these done. Now we just need to do these two uh, speed modules. The, uh, the, these are the rocket shooting speed. Um, we, we've done those as far as we need to go for the rocket silo. Because, of course, as we all know, getting into orbit is all about getting the correct amount of speed up. Um, it's not about going up. If you just go go up, you're just gonna come straight back down. Um, and yeah. We are literally two si researchers away. We are literally two researchers. Getting away from this hellhole. <laughs> wow, from building the next factory that's gonna help us get away from this hellhole. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go for some explosive cannon shells and some bullets. We'll have a couple of thousand of those. Maybe a thousand. This is the worst setup I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Captain? I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> oh, I, I guess. Oh, what's happened to the trains here? Uh, oh, it's fine. It's gonna fix itself in a couple of seconds. It's gonna fix itself in a couple of seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, one clears, two clears. So, does the middle line not? <laughs> what? All right, all right. I mean, that's your domain. I'll let you let you do what you're doing. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's botch it more. <laughs> Just stand that tape here. Remove from there. It's amazing how you can make a system that's so flimsy that adding one thing is gonna break, break somewhere the whole else. Thing, yeah. The the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> and then you replace that, and then it works fine. Just one thing has been changed and it now works fine. Like it when things work fine. Right, let's go and have a look at this purple science machine and see how uh, how productive it is. Because I've got a feel I can make that. Okay, so we're machine restricted. That's all right. We can make that. Let's put one of these here. Grab a copy of that. Spin and spin. And now we've I've doubled, doubled the science production. Oh my. I know, wonders. Wonders. Wonders of modern <laughs> <laughs> technology. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now we need yellow as well. Uh, yellow is a little bit more awkward if I remember correctly. It's batteries, cables, processing units, and a speed module. A processing unit. I'm being producing blues. speed modules, uh, and I'm delivering them to one specific place. It's in the middle of the base, basically. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that. Oh, what is <laughs> That's what's wrong. Yeah. Oh, the turret. Got destroyed. I was a belt, I believe. Well, yeah, but the, there is no turret to stop him doing that. It. Yeah. Do I have turrets on me? I do. All right, let's go fix this problem. Oh, we got two tanks. Nice. Yeah. Might have to move the other one down here. I like how he decided to destroy those belts that are required for loading things on. Uh huh. And none of the other. <laughs> they obviously know the best way. Best way to get us. Are they intelligent then? The biters, perhaps more so than us. I forgot to get some fuel. The fuel is another thing that I need. <laughs> so much broken here. Single bullet. Actual single bullet. So, Captain, we are really close now to finally leaving the planet and going back 
<laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I think our only plan is actually to, to, to take off and hope that the Comnet picks us up on the way through. Uh, we'll, we'll hit hypersleep and, uh, and hope that they, they pick us up in a, a less than 50 years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. How's our power situation? We haven't checked in a while. The steam engines oh, are not oh running. My. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Are we, are we overfitting? <laughs> Let's have Just a look. A bit. I'm, I'm here. We can click. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Bring forth the laser turrets. <laughs> <laughs> we can. Definitely. We have the accumulators as well yeah. for the sudden burst of power ness. <laughs> I, but the thing is, even if this... I, I don't think the solar panels are even close to their maximum. No, uh, no, I don't think that. Like, you can, so you can 60, tell. Okay, I, I'm getting a calculator. Just a second. So a single solar panel can produce 60 kilowatts. So 60 times... Uh, 2,900... is 174,000 kilowatts. <laughs> So we're a little bit short then, uh, a little bit short of the solar panels maximum. Okay, so kilowatts, and then, so I need to divide that by a thousand to get it in megawatts. Yes. Yes. Divided by one thousand is one hundred and seventy-four megawatts of power. We are only using a quarter. Well, th this doesn't make any sense. Then <laughs> I'm now confused. Sun's gone down. Yeah, so now we're using the accumulators plus the steam engines. Yeah, steam. It, uh, oh, the accumulators have flatlined. We do we do we need more accumulators? Is, is that what I'm seeing here? Is the the green no, no, line? No, 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 no. The green line is the steam engine. Oh That's my bad. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm reading this the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So steam engine. The current steam engines can't produce more than twenty-five thousand, uh, twenty-five uh, megawatts. I mean, do we do we want to cut them off? Yeah, I think we should. I mean, we have 10 gigajoules currently and dropping fast, they're, but it's... They're not getting any more coal. <laughs> oh, oh, you did, did cut them off like that. I thought just cut them off the network. Oh, uh, there's get... so many wires. Probably quicker that way. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so what's the amount of power necessary for time travel? It's like 1.8 gigaw uh, gigawatts. He says gigawatts, but it's with a G. So. Yeah. So this is your uh, your yellow yellow science machine, is it? This is nice. So you've got this this bad boy producing the speed modules. A, and then gonna put the speed modules into it. Yeah, request a chest down here, just asking for everything that's needed. And this outputs yellows. Nice, nice. I could probably do. You know what? I could do with a couple of those. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put them on the purple science. I'll be back. Oh, we hit 107 megawatts of power consumption because the uh, yeah accumulators are kicking in okay, speed mod oh no we, we you know what else we need to put speed modules in is the furnace what? array uh, not the furnace the like? furnace maker yeah <laughs> we do not have enough uh, furnace 175 megawatts of power is the amount of power we can produce through the solar panels and what did we get 180 because we did round it up, round it up. yeah yeah nice so we're, we're technically there. Said, yeah. <laughs> we, we can time travel. Now we just need to get to 88 miles an hour. <laughs> that, I think the trains go that fast. <laughs> Too bad we don't... I so that's so. why they, we don't have electric trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not, not allowed to time travel. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at the way that this has been like filtered and stuff. And the way that the furnace is working. And if I can just get another one of these off here... Um, the belt that takes steel and red circuits. I could make an entire new area that's going to make furnaces. More provider chests. I, I really should just like have provider chests on the uh, on my logistics requests. I don't need chemical plants. I don't need red circuits or coal or stone walls. Uh, probably a roboport. Everything else looks alright. I have to do a, a fairly regular clear out of the. Uh, the logistics network of my own personal one anyway. End up with Fine. everything. Alright, there we go. More passive provider chest. I just added more. Oh, our bus is getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> I like a weird bus. Weird bus is good. Is this an extra copper line I see you've added? Yeah. Nah, that's nice. Is that for the green circuits? 
and well it bypasses the green circuits and goes further along because the green circuits kept on eating everything. Yeah, 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 I get that. I, I, I have slowly started to realize that you need like a furnace array for the green circuits and then another <laughs> furnace array for the other circuits. <laughs> yeah, it's quite, yeah. quite immense as they say. Captain, I think it's time to research the one, almost the final, almost the final research. Almost, oh, look at that, yeah, just the speed module level three. The penultimate, as we call it. Um, then we're going to do the rocket silo. Oh, we're, we're getting so close. So close. <laughs> so close. So close for us just sitting around and waiting for more science machines. Well, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, that should be, that's what should I be doing? Well, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice, I see. Work, my robots, work. I hope the uh, the main game, uh, main guiding AI doesn't have a problem with all these different different ins and outs. It should, it should be fine. It's like it's what robots deal with, right? They they deal yeah. with lots of complex. Well, it's not even complicated. It's complex. It's a big difference between complicated and complex. Complicated is like hard to fathom, whereas complex is lots of small, simple things in uh, a row. You did place down the turrets, but uh, they didn't have any ammo. Yeah, okay, yeah, so there we go. We, today we learned that using a blueprint does not transfer bullets. Ah, I'm a little bit of break, I guess. <laughs> mm. From the chaos of fighters' invasions and... Yeah, yeah, it's nice that we finally calmed it down enough to be able to... Oh, look at this. There's, there's now pollution spreading out to the west far enough. <laughs> Are you gonna go take care of it, Captain? I suppose so, and it will give me time to put in the bullets as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure. Like, yeah, like you, you probably wouldn't be able to hide an alien civilization, really. Like, it, it's it's one of the things like they reckon, and, and you know, they, the big, the big nebulous them, reckon that uh, one of the reasons that we have not seen intelligence life so far is because they're hiding, right? I, I just just with the smallest cursory like conversation about it I'm just left aghast at how that could even happen you know like how I just don't think I, like how, how do you even begin to think you could hide something of that scale uh, yeah like the, the only it's... way they could do it is if they actually put a giant LCD screen around a small part of <laughs> small part of the universe that's going to keep it. Uh, you know, whatever the the current technology of display is doesn't necessarily. I know you how you can hide it, Captain. Yes. You... By making every other civilization that's in the upri upbringing in a its own sphere. Yeah, that, that was pretty much the only thinking I could come with, you know, as if... So, if you put other people in their own small bubbles, you don't need to hide yourself. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably the way to do it. But even then, how do you... Well, no, I suppose it's fairly easy if you have complete control of how everything an entire civilization is seeing. Oh. Thank you, Bank, for notifying me that I just paid for Patreon. <laughs> Hey, I like that. Speaking of which, uh, shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, don't forget if you like these videos, want to help me support support the uh, the content that we make. <laughs> uh, I, I I haven't learned that spiel properly. I, don't, I need really need to get down to it. A shameless, I have a shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, my shameless plug is more pointing out how bad I am at doing the shameless plug. <laughs> That's your thing, I guess. It could be a thing. <laughs> it could be a thing. Uh, to be fair, I'm probably not the only one that does. All right, let's think about how we're going to do this. This other other town up ahead. I'm going to call them a town. Uh, Biter civilizational uh, that, mode. This is the thing. We are at the point where we just need to wait now. Yeah, we need to... Well, I mean, we kind of need to build a rocket factory now, right? Wow, well, not not yeah, quite now, but... Build a rocket factory because we don't have the, the tech. tech to yeah. make a rocket yet. I mean, uh, actually, we can start uh, by seeing what does a rocket factory need. It needs steel. We have that. We don't have concrete. Okay, well, I can start making concrete. Are we not making we concrete? We can prepare. Yeah, we're not actually. We can prepare the things we need for the rocket. I guess. 
this assembly. Yeah, that that would be very good. Oh, getting a bit getting a bit real over here. Let's get out of here. I don't know what we need for the actual rocket. No, I don't. I don't. I, I presume steel plating and some uh, rocket fuel, but I mean, what else do you need? As the the great ancient prophet uh, Elon Musk used to tell us, give me yeah, give what? me a sheet. Give me a sheet of, uh, of of plywood and enough propellant to put under it, and I will show you something that might work one day. Oh, you should, are, are you not using defense uh, defender? Uh, do we have capsules? some? Yes, we do. Ah, no, no, I'm not because I didn't realize we had any. <laughs> oh, we can, no, I, can, I mean, I can, we can make them. Ah. Have any. Wow, it's busy over here. How busy? Oh, uh, you know, it's a relatively busy. Sm sm small indie music crowd, busy. They are really angry. Awesome. I am kind of just cruising through the middle of their town, <laughs> firing off a lot of bullets. <laughs> All right, that's one city, town, place taken down, that's taken care of. Got a few locals to get rid of, but that's definitely taken care of this area. And I think that takes care of, like, the catchment area that we're likely to get from the pollution, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, quite sure. I've only gone through like ten repair kits. <laughs> no leaves. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these guys out because I'm here. Um, and you know, that why why should they be spared? My uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like they they keep they keep attacking my iron production. That's not not <laughs> no bueno, as they say. Why can't we color code? Belts. Yeah, that'd be nice. We've got we've got like all sorts of tagging systems for the map, but why can't we actually yeah. just like tag the things in front of us? I mean, I get that the belts are color coded to do with speed, but maybe we could have some sort of different system for that. Uh, I'm gonna put a new. <laughs> I'm gonna put a new gate in, science officer. Oh, I didn't quite <laughs> Did make you it. Again? <laughs> Did you crash again into a train? I'm trying to put a gate through. <laughs> no, it's gonna break the tank. <laughs> Uh, for the first time, we actually have enough uh, petroleum gas. Actually, our tanks are full. Wow. Wow, we are on top of the game right now? Yep, right now. We need more iron. We just, we are just consuming so much of it. Yeah, I don't expect that to slow down at any point. 28,000... No. 3,000 a minute. 3,000 iron a minute, wow. I like how it's oscillating the graph just <laughs> oscillations well that'll be night and waiting for stuff to happen yeah look at that let's put it a minute two minutes oh wow yeah look at that what's that yeah that's iron oh those are the trains coming in and out okay yeah. i get it i get it i uh, put it at one hour and it's just amazing whoop 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 <laughs> oh yeah look at that so this <laughs> orange line is iron ore consumption yeah and the blue one is our plate consumption and the production just tracks together wow that's yeah that's cool that's cool i think we need another train uh whilst i do in essence agree i do worry that our system wouldn't cope with another train <laughs> <laughs> i i think we should push it until it breaks <laughs> okay and then fix it <laughs> Let's do that uh, then. Where do we make trains? Uh, we do it's have train production somewhere, don't we? Here's some right. engines. Is it near the? Uh, it's right here. Oh uh, okay. uh, yeah. I need. Yeah, give me five trains, I guess, and five of these. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah. So oh, that's, that's a bad. A little inconvenient there. What we needed right, was enough room here for on this diagonal line for that train to wait and let the other one into the station. Ah. <laughs> But, uh, oh, I was going to say, but that's all right. Uh, Suddenly it's not. Suddenly it's not. Suddenly it's not. Is this, a, this is a copper train. I can abort it. And take manual control. All right, good luck. So, is there a way of taking the diagonal that this train's waiting on, the, the yeah. one that's trying to leave, and kind of extending that track down to meet up a little bit closer to the junction at the south? So there's enough room on that middle line, if you will, for that train to wait on. So where I'm standing to extend it down? Uh, no, up in the middle. So you see in the middle of the tracks? Uh, in in yeah. there, yeah. You want it basically coming off where you are there and joining up with that track ahead of you. 
uh, the, the diagonal one that's got the train coming out. So this train here to go Down, this way. Yeah. And then and it's just here? to give it more room. Uh, no, enter on the track it's trying to leave oh, on, oh, okay. but just to give it more room. Let me guess. Uh, so something like this. Oh, I moved my camera because I was getting a, a warning. Yes, yes. Apart from it, it joined up to That's the other track than I would have suggested, but yeah. We either had a bad crash or... You seem to be going all right. Iron has just turned up. Okay. And there's another iron leaving, but he's going for Chuck Norris. Don't worry about that. We've got stacking space there and exit stacking space. Nice. All right, yeah, that, that looks good. Ba -ba -ba and science is done. All right, and with that, science officer, I think we've done wonders today. We we've got some science set up, some real hacksy. I feel dirty doing it, science, <laughs> but we've got the science set up. Uh, we are literally one research away from being able to have the technology to visualize how to get off this planet. <laughs> <laughs> visualize. Uh, oh, it's amazing. Uh, we know we need a rocket, but the computer's done, so we now need to explain to the computers what yeah. we mean. I just kind of want to set an explosion off underneath me, <laughs> uh, but that doesn't sound wise. No, no, let's do it slowly, though. <laughs> <laughs> a slow explosion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but slow with that... Chemist. Yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> but yeah, with that, I think it's Captain's Log. Signing off. <laughs>